we are gonna feature our very first Nissan Frontier. What's up guys, we're over here in Redlands, California. We got Pearson, we got Scott right here. And we are gonna feature our very first Nissan Frontier. I am so stoked to do this. I finally found somebody else who is crazy enough to build one of these guys. <laughs> no man, you know, I love the Frontiers. I myself own a Frontier. I myself am building a Frontier. But to see this thing right here, I've seen some videos of it. Scott has actually sent some stuff in a Terra Crew. I think they've posted on the page and people have been really stoked about it. So I'm really happy that we're featuring this thing. It's leaf sprung, it's a bolt-on kit, but it rips. Hey guys, uh, my name's Darren. I like Terra Crew and you should too. So like and subscribe so we can keep on doing this stuff. Thank you very much, thank you. And I see we got three guests here. What is that guy? This is Pyro, my beardy. Is this like the off-roader's parrot? Yeah. Pretty much. I guess, right? Tell us about this thing, man. What What is up with it? What year is it? Make, model, everything. So this is a 2000 Nissan Frontier with a 3.3 liter, uh, two-wheel drive, XE. And pretty much this has been my First and only vehicle since high school. So has this been like a father-son project, this build? Or? Pretty much. Because of this, I learned what a wrench was. When I went into high school, not knowing uh, how to work on anything. Do you guys bought this thing together from a friend's garage yeah, or something? Yeah, well, his son went into the Navy, so it sat for four years. Oh, shoot, okay. And uh, he called me up four years later. He was 16. He said, hey, is your son still uh, interested in that truck? And I said, heck yeah. So That's cool, man. got up there with a the tow truck because it didn't run. And, Trailered at home, park, parked it in our driveway, and started, started wrenching. wrenching on it. Yeah. How, how old are you now, man? Now I'm 21. You're 21? So it's been a few years. Yeah, so how, how long did it take you guys to kind of build this thing up to where it is right now? Well, actually, it, it had, like, my friend, he made this bumper, got it from, and it had the total chaos on it already. Oh, no way. And, yeah, okay, it cool. The bed uh, cage the bed in it, and the bed cage already on it. So you guys brought it back to life. Pretty right. much. And we're Very cool. So it's a total chaos kit. And then I guess you guys can tell us about this thing. I know this is a bolt-on kit, right? This, this is all bolting onto like the stock locations. I think Total Chaos still sells this kit. Um, if I'm, if I'm, or am I wrong? Total or? Chaos only works with Toyota as far as I'm concerned. Okay. They still make the bushings and the heim joints for the kit. Okay. So you can rebuild them. But as far as I know, these kits are now extinct. That's really? So you'd, have, you'd have to get with Total Chaos and see if they still have some. This is a first gen, right? Yeah, the yeah. 2000. Yeah, so this is a first gen Frontier. This is the only kit that I had ever seen for this thing. Very cool. And then, so, two wheel drive truck. It's, uh, what are, what is this, like 14 inches of travel? Yeah, 14 front and back right now. So we got the tubular upper. It's pretty rad, pretty standard with total chaos. You get the beefier bushings. And then you get the box lower. And then it's cool that you're running just like the single coil over. Is this like an eight inch? Uh, yeah, it's the 8 inch coil. It's actually the 2.5 coil with the 3.0. I'm okay. sorry, the 2.5 um, coil over? Yeah. Yeah, and then you're running like a nice little remote reservoir. Yeah. And I this just, is an adjuster right here? Yeah, this shot came with a small resi. It didn't have an adjuster before, but now it has this adjuster with okay. a longer resi so you can uh, go sifter or firmer. That's really cool. That's yeah, cool that a... King King has been able to do that, like to throw in this little. Look at that guy yeah. right there. What up, <laughs> yeah, dude? I just crawled onto the tires. All four shocks rebuilt and redone from uh, Shock Prep Unlimited in Riverside. Oh yeah, yeah. those are the homies. Yeah, right there, yeah. Shout out to David over there, David, Shock yeah, yeah. Prep Unlimited. He actually uh, rebuilt some shocks for me too. Those guys are in Riverside. They do really good work. Yep. Small shop out of the garage. Super solid guy, super solid family. Love those guys. Shock Prep Unlimited, check them out for sure. These reservoirs are cool because it has that internal piece where you could actually make them softer or stiffer depending on your, your driving for the weekend, right, or the terrain. Right. Very cool. 
keeping the stock, you know, all the stock stuff in the front. Yeah. Which looks really cool. I mean, I, I like it, dude. I think it looks... Yeah, I like the look of the stock. I like how the white just goes straight across mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, it looks good. I think they changed the lights in 2002 and that's the that's the the front end that i have but again you know running the old school nissan grill which is cool mm -hmm. and uh, how do you like running the the light up here on the front light up front is a big advantage for me when i was just running headlights in the dunes it was pitch black i couldn't really see so when i added the light bar up front the 20 inch it allowed me to get a better perspective at night in the desert i also heard that if you run them up top on the roof it creates glare in the hood and you really can't see right and the windshield right yeah so i Kind of stay away from that and I just run the good old 20 inch in the front. What are some other spots you like to take this thing to? Got a spot in Beaumont. I go to Barstow. I actually went to King Shots Proving Grounds and went over to the main. Okay. And uh, just put in second Florida and I was skipping over the whoops. In Barstow, Maine? Yeah, yeah. Barstow, Maine. I think what? He, I think he was Dude, we got a little do you have too footage far. Yes, I do. I think we got to cut to that footage, man. What the yeah. heck? <laughs> You said V6, is it automatic? Automatic V6, yeah. Look, I, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what it is. I had no motor problems with my with my V6. Yeah. I had the 3.3 liter in a crew cab frontier. Maybe if we find some clips, we can cut to my truck. You can kind of see it roar. Yeah. See it roar. Yeah. But honestly, it worked out great, man. I, the transmission held up tremendously, so much abuse to that mm -hmm. thing. I just regularly got it serviced. I must have put like, I don't even know, 15, 20,000 miles of off-roading on that thing. <laughs> and I beat the crap out of that motor and trans. If you guys have a Frontier, or you guys know anybody that has this generation of Frontier, tell us some of those success stories of that motor and trans package. Yeah. What tire size are you running on this? I'm running 33s right now, 33 BFG uh, all-terrains. So the BFG all-terrain looking solid with the white wall out, very old school. That's yeah. super cool. And then I thought this was a Mickey Thompson. You said it's not, right? It's an Eagle Alloy. They Eagle really, Alloy. Yeah, Eagle Alloys. They don't really make these anymore. Those guys are gone now, huh? Yeah, they're, yeah they don't make these rims, huh? They don't make these rims, huh? That's wild. This is, again, very cool. Very early 2000s pre-runner yeah, right here. Yeah, all chrome going on. Now they got like a black chrome mixture going into it. Yeah. I wanted to keep those wheels because that's how it came. So these are the original ones. Yeah. That, that's why it, this is so such a 2000s truck. Right. So take us through the back of this thing. Was all of this already prefabbed? Yep. The uh, okay. bed cage, again, done from the original creator, Josh. He's the one who pretty much built this thing. And this bed cage actually has two purposes. One, to actually keep the shocks up, and two, it's a ramp for a quad. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah that's what it, this angle is for to roll your front wheels up here. Yeah, you and then put your back right wheels here. on the back because he had a quad. Oh, right on. What do you ride, man? A uh, Suzuki 450. Oh, nice. That's a that's a quick bike. Yeah. Fuel injected, right? Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, we'll peek, we'll peek at that thing real quick. Where's yeah. that guy? That's it, that's oh, yeah. yeah like Those, these are hard to come by now from what I've heard. So do you actually throw your quad back here? Yes, I do. Get That's cool. And I uh, just load it up and strap it down. I'm good for the weekend. I'm loving this kid. I'm living vicariously through him right now. <laughs> this is awesome. I feel like I'm looking back in time. Yep. And this kid is me. I used to ride quads growing up. I have YFZ 450. I still have it. Mm. She's sad right now at home, but I'm actually trying to get it fixed for now. So. Anyways, right. cool. You're running the, the tailgate? Yeah, yeah, running the tailgate. This is really solid work, man. Yeah. This looks really good. I wanted to keep my bed for just the simple sense of throwing things in the back. So I just added a jack and a spare, and that was about as far as I would go. Fire extinguisher. Oh yeah, the fire extinguisher, obviously, because you oh, gotta yeah. have safety first. Definitely, you got the fire extinguisher, we got the jack mount right here. Everything's so dang clean. We got the the gas tank right here, and then you're running There's the stock gas. There's a story about that. That's the stock uh, gas filler, and it was hanging by wires. Yeah. No way. It was hanging by wires under here, flopping around, 
And uh, the That's guy funny. we got it from, he had it. It was like that the whole time that he had it. Yeah, so I told him, look, I think we can use this, but let's fabricate a piece of aluminum that we can bolt up to the cage. And so this is the stock filler tube and the stock cap. And we just flattened out this ring right here, put three holes in it and tapped it. We tapped it underneath and just there it is. bolted it up. Perfect. It so tell me about this rear setup. What kind of kings are these? Filler king 2.5 double bypass. 2.5 so, double bypass, there we go. And yeah. you said there's about 14 inches of travel about, in the back of this guy? About right now. I just recently put in the Deaver leaf springs into Ooh, the truck. Ooh, the Deavers. Yeah, I, used to, I was running the stock leaf springs, and what I did for travel is the stock leaf springs had the overload spring on the bottom, so that would limit your travel for droop. What I did is I took the overload spring off, and I put longer shackles on from Toyota. So these Toyota shackles worked. Are these those are, total uh, chaos? No, those are custom built by uh, Steel Nuts. My guys over at Steel Nuts custom made shackles. That oh, are nice. 10 and 3 quarter inch, I believe, to make the ride height just right for this truck. Nice, man. Yeah, shout out to Steel Nuts. Those guys are coming up. I think they're in Temecula area, right? Yep. yep. 951 crew guys. What's up, dudes? Mm -hmm. Very cool. Those guys crush it, man. They build some really cool stuff. Reed, Reed right? Yep. Yeah, Reed's the guy who worked on my truck. Right, Reed has a really rad Reed Toyota, man. We gotta right. go check that thing out sometime. <laughs> If you guys are out in Marietta, Temecula, or anything like that, check out Steel Nuts Off-Road. Those guys are putting out some really, really solid trucks. They did a lot of the, the rear end work. The, the mounts for the leaf springs and the custom made the shackles. Yeah, they did really good work. So they made your leaf springs, got your Deavers in there, mm -hmm. kind of cycled everything, made it all work. New shock mounts. Yeah, That's they right, because, oh, back to the leaf spring tobacco. Um, when I was running the stock leaf springs, the uh, pinion angle was all wrong. So right. I just started hearing a whining noise and said something's wrong. So that's when I went over to the Deavers and they actually re-angled it for me so it's correct and uh, bolted up to my Ford 9 inch differential. Oh, so you run a 9 inch? Yes. Yeah, oh, so nice. Cool. Okay. The 9 inch. Yeah, uh, how's yeah, this I'm thing holding up, man? It's awesome sometimes. Some, it's, <laughs> it lets me down a lot. 60% of the time, it works every time. Oh, shoot. Why. Okay. I'm having to rebuild it more than use it. But okay. Right now it's holding up pretty good. It doesn't help when, when you're running a. Uh, when you drive this thing like a quad, huh? Yeah, I use it. <laughs> it's got the Detroit locker, some curry axles in it, so I beef it up. Nice, man. Well, so, so it, little by it. little, it's getting a little beefier. Yeah, I got big plans for the truck, but right now I'm just running it and keeping it alive. Okay, right on. Yeah, we took it over to Curry a couple times. They put in a Detroit locker in it. Yeah, they fixed it up for me real good and. Cool. New axle, new bearings, and they hooked me up. So again, another coincidence, I actually ran a full Curry axle too. 35 spline, it was awesome, I loved it. It was their pre-runner axle, that thing never let me down. And again, I beat the crap out of that thing. Shout out to Curry, you guys are awesome, and thanks for making some affordable rear ends for people. Oh yeah, they're, they're good people and they do good work over there. So Steel Nuts kind of helped you dial in some of this back here. Most Did, of the stuff underneath. Yeah, most okay, of most stuff of the stuff underneath. underneath. Okay, and then this bumper was already here? Yep, again from my buddy, my dad's buddy Ray, he um, okay. did back and front bumper. Okay. I thought I'd keep it because it already works. Yeah, it flows good, man. It yeah. looks good. So we got a 9-inch, we got Deaver leaf springs, we got 14 inches of travel, we got bypass shocks in the rear, we got the gas cap mounted perfect up here, we have our fire extinguisher, we got our, our full-size spare, we got the tailgate, which is awesome. But why don't you take us through the inside of this, man? So this is my office. <laughs> this is the office, huh? This is the office, yeah. <laughs> By the way, I, I had no idea that this thing was caged. Oh yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, and I think that's a conversation you and I had. I I was like, yo man, I really like your truck. Let me know when you cage it so we could feature it. So uh, one thing we try to do at Terry Cruz, we don't, we don't feature too many trucks that aren't caged. Yes, we have before. Yes, we will in the future, but we try to stay away from it just because, you know, you go hard out there. We don't want to encourage people to be driving hard without a cage. Right. You're having some fun, that's cool, but you know, crap happens you know yeah, what i mean it gets so, you when you least expect it. he's running a cage in this thing and it's it's a sleeper so that's what's so cool i would never have guessed this thing has a nine inch in it the bypass is in the rear a cage you know what i mean and it just it's a it's a solid truck bro yeah. solid pre-runner so so take us through this cage was this cage already here or it's already in it is tied into the bed cage and i'm planning on tying it into the front so it's gonna be an all tube frame eventually you can really beef it up because 
the amount of sendage that I put this truck through, I need some structure. You go pretty hard in this thing, man. Yeah. So what are you guys gonna do? Like just tie the tube directly through here? Yeah, something like that. I believe it's already got a tube going through the dash underneath. So I'm probably gonna tie that up into the front, into like the engine cage. Very cool. So tell me about this interesting brake setup you got in here. Okay, so... So I see you got the handbrake. Yeah, I got the handbrake. This is one eBay item that does work. Okay. The body is from eBay, but I actually put in a Willwood because those... Because Willwood. Because Willwood. Because Willwood, yeah. <laughs> so this does my front brakes only, and this handbrake only does the rear brake. Because I've been riding quads ever since I was two years old, and that's always been what, I, what I've been used to. That's wild. So you're actually... I've never, ever heard of that in a vehicle, ever. So so rear brake. Rear brake. Just for the rear. Just for the rear. Back front, front brake, just for the front. So when Have you, you gotten wanna, used to that? Oh yeah, I like riding a bicycle, there's no problem. Okay, I mean, If you right. really need to lock up, you just slam and hold both. both okay. but so you're like the burnout master over here in Red Lines, I try huh? not to because these 33s aren't cheap. Again, running the Nissan stock dash, looking really good. I see some pretty clean aluminum work right here, looking pretty solid. Um, so future plans for this thing is to tie this roll cage into the front to support it, right? Correct. I've got some gussets right here for strength. It looks like there's a lot of support right here. Everything looks really solid, dude. Very cool. Yeah, and then it's cool that you guys kept the cage so low key instead of like tying to the back like that. Mm -hmm. You know, you from the side you wouldn't even be able to tell yeah. you know yeah. even that you had the cage work back there because it's like flush that's cool well, man I'm thinking maybe going from here to here like from it. there to there yeah I mean yeah. you possibly can but I think for what it is it it works out really well we got the homies up here yeah. shreddy I met Blake over at a Hoonigan event once and he handed out these stickers so I thought I'd show some support oh that's cool right on man very cool but Blake is our brother from another mother definitely <laughs> OG Terra crew right there man and then seats yeah, these are PRP seats with uh, PRP harnesses. Actually, Blake helped me get these harnesses. Nice. Thanks to that guy, he uh, got me a pretty good deal on these. Excellent. And how do you like these? Good. They're comfortable? Uh, three inches on the bottom and two inches on top because I had three inch uh, crow harnesses before and it would just rub on my neck. And it you get like that, that So yep. with the two inches, it doesn't really rub on your neck. It's just holding down on your shoulders. So big okay. advantage going to the two inch. I, these look like the older models, but I mean, they look like amazing. Like they're in great shape, man. Shout out to the homies at PRP for always making badass stuff. What, what exhaust are you running on this thing? Okay, so that would be a... Uh, I, this engine actually does have one performance part on the motor, actually two performance parts. That would be the cannon intake and the uh, headers. They yeah, actually have stainless headers, I forget. Yeah, they actually have race headers. Oh, okay, cool. for this engine. Well, where'd, you, where'd you find them, eBay or something? eBay. Okay, yeah. so you got headers and intake, bro. You're ready for that seven second quarter mile, bro. Right. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just have Eighth a mile. PWR radiator. Oh, nice. With electric fan. We took the engine fan off and put an electric fan on there. How how's that been? Amazing, right? Yeah, amazing, because you just hear it click on and it doesn't drive by the engine, so you're not yeah. killing power. Again, I also ran the PWR <laughs> radiator. Oh, so oh, wow. very cool. You guys are brothers. What? Did we just become best friends? Yep. Solid structure over here. Is this all from Total Chaos or they built this? Uh, I believe Total Chaos put on the shock hoops. They got up into the frame, but my buddy Garrett actually made me this uh, cross shock, member. Yeah, the cross member. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for letting us check this thing out. I can't wait to see this thing rip in the desert. If you guys have any questions about this build or anything, please hit them up. Again, I mean, I'm pretty, I'm fangirling right now because I'm really excited about this build. I'm biased because I have a Frontier too. There's not many of us out there, so. Yeah, man. But yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you guys so much. If you guys liked what you've seen or if you guys have any friends that have any Nissan Frontiers or any even like Leaf Spring questions or any questions in regards to Total Chaos, maybe you guys can hit up these guys, hit up Total Total Chaos, hit up Deaver Leaf Springs. Thanks for watching, share this with them. We'll see you guys later, take later. care, later.